Hi, this is Colin. In this quick demo, I'm going to show you how Copilot X is bringing AI to the entire development workflow, including app security. I've opened up a code space onto a Java application that is a bit of demo code for a bookstore. I've implemented a change that will allow users to search by title. So I'll enter in this commit message, implement book search by title. I'm going to commit that locally, and then I'm going to publish the branch to the repo and create a pull request. Now I'm going to be a little bit lazy and I'm not really going to fill out any details here. But what you will see is that my pull request template has copilot tags, copilot emoji, copilot summary, copilot walkthrough, as well as copilot poem, just for some fun. I'll hit create to create that pull request. As soon as the pull request is created, a number of actions will queue. We can see these under the check section here. We'll see CodeQL code scanning, which is our SAS tool that's going to hook into our build, analyze our code and report any vulnerabilities. There are a number of other checks, including unit testing, container scanning, and any other quality checks that we need. All of those are run by Actions, our CI CD tool. While those checks are executing, let me show you GitHub for the CLI. So we'll go back to a terminal, and I can see GitHub Copilot for the CLI by just executing question mark, question mark. Let's type something in natural language that we may want to run on the terminal. How about list all Java files in the source directory? Copilot X will tell us that the command is find source dash name Java and give us an explanation for each of those arguments. Now we could run or cancel that command. In this case, I'm going to just move my cursor down to revise query and enter a revision. How about we exclude test files? Now we're piping that to grep v test. Again, there's an explanation for each part of that command. Let's revise it one more time. Sort by date descending. Which pipes the previous commands to xargs ls-t. Finally, let's run the command. Copilot for CLI will ask us if we're sure, and if we say yes, we execute that command. This is a great time saver. Looks like the PR has refreshed. I'm going to hit refresh here, just so we can get the latest version. And here you'll see Copilot for PRs has changed those Copilot tags into text. In the summary section, we had Copilot summary, which has changed into a summary of the changes for the pull request. Under details, where we had Copilot walkthrough, we have a detailed walkthrough of all the changes that are included in this PR. And finally, we have Copilot poem. A reviewer that's now looking at this PR has a lot more context for their pull request. And I didn't have to type all of this myself. Again, a great time saver. Just below the description in the comments, we'll see that there is an annotation here from GitHub code scanning. Let me click show more details. This takes me to the full alert in the security tab for this repository. It's taken me to the line of code where the vulnerability is, where there is a query depending on a user provided value. In the rule ID, I'll see that this is a Java SQL injection. And under show more, I'll get detailed help on what this vulnerability is, as well as some examples of good code and bad code, and some references. All good information to help me fix this vulnerability, but still quite a lot to go through. Let's see how Copilot chat can again save me some time. So let's go back to the code space. And I'll see that annotation under the comments tab. Clicking on that will take me to the line of code in my source code that pertains to that alert. 
Let's shrink that annotation down and highlight this block of code. I'll open up Copilot Chat and click the explain the selected code. Copilot Chat is going to tell me about that code. Now I know from GitHub Advanced Security that there's a SQL injection vulnerability here. So let's ask Copilot, what is a SQL injection vulnerability? And Copilot Chat will explain what that vulnerability is. Let's ask Copilot Chat, how could an attacker exploit this vulnerability? And Copilot Chat will analyze that code snippet and tell us how an attacker could exploit that particular vulnerability. Fix the SQL injection vulnerability. And Copilot will give us a new snippet of code as well as explain to us how that code fixes that vulnerability. We'll use this insert at cursor button to insert the code from Copilot Chat into our file. We'll format that. And this prepared statement needs to be declared outside of the try because we close it in the finally. And now we've fixed up the code. Finally, let's ask Copilot generate a test method for this code. Copilot chat has generated a test for that method. In this quick demo, I've showed you how we're bringing Copilot X into the entire development workflow, including app security. Now a disclaimer, Copilot X is still in technical preview and is subject to change, but I hope you can see what a productivity boost Copilot X is going to be beyond just generating code in the editor. Have fun and I'll see you soon.